Shalom, Shalom. Back out here again to prophesy, you know, to uplift the, the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the sheep, the lamb. And uh, this lesson is inspired by the Apostle Arim Lab's video that he recently did concerning. I believe it was called the various topics, but there is one thing that he mentioned within the video dealing with camp hoppers. We've been speaking about this many times. I spoke about this many, many times. Rebuking, hopping from camp to camp and listening from camp to camp, especially when you're new in this truth. Because what that does is that causes confusion. And then you come to us Asking us all kind of questions about, oh, what does this mean? What does that mean? Because this camp said this and this camp said that. And the Apostle Rambach said that he's, you know, he's kind of in the spirit now of not even dealing with you. And I, I agree. I agree. We're, we're, we're in the spirit now of telling you, go ask them. Since you, since you want to go from this camp to that camp, go ask them and see if they have the answers. Because we know through the spirit of Pariyah by Shemiel Shai. That we have the 100% the truth. Now, I want to get a few scriptures. I have written down here. Wherever the Spirit will lead. This is um, Ezekiel 33 30. Because a lot of you look at this truth as entertainment. And that will be your destruction. Looking at this truth as entertainment will, means that you're not sincere. This is Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. And it reads, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, everyone to his brother saying, come, I pray you and hear what is the, the word that cometh forth from Yahweh. And they come unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they shew much love and their heart goeth after their covetousness. So they're just listening for entertainment purpose. They might have their, you know, they might have their dinner in front of them listening. They might have a bag of chips, a, a snicker bar, and they're listening for entertainment purposes. You see, but they're not listening to actually change their ways and repent. What they do a lot of times is they try to find a camp that fits their spirit. If Great Millstone says something that they don't like, oh, we got to make three videos a week. Oh, I don't like that. You know, that's too tedious. Let me go to a camp where I can make minimal amount of videos, man. You see? Let me go to a camp where I can make minimal amount of videos. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them when it's too late, when it's too late, when it's time to take things serious, and they've been lollygagging and, and playing games and and, and one foot in, one foot out, and listen to this camp, listen to that camp. When you know that who the true prophets are, it's going to be too late because you're, you're, you're stuck. This is not the time to be confused about the doctrine. This is not the time to be wavering. This is a time to be rooted in the truth. Because when it, when it comes time to make a spiritual decision, 
and, you, and you're not certain whether your house shy is the way you're not certain whether you're supposed to worship your house shy you're not certain if the miracles exist and these are things that camps are teaching teaching right now all right you're not sure what the mark of the beast is when these things come to you you're not going to be rooted and you are going to be taken by the the the, uh, the proud waters man which is these edomites because you're not rooted and we tell you this and, and we're and we're the bad guys we tell you this for your own benefit and we're we're being we're we're hating oh you're just hating like if this is some damn rap beef man this is the this is between life or death this is the truth okay This is Hebrews 13. And verse 17. It says, Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, but that is unprofitable for you. All right, so we're supposed to, we're watching over, well, whoever's over you, man. The apostles, the elders are over us, the certain brothers that are over us, that are older than us in the spirit. Okay, and they, they're supposed to be watching over our souls. So when they say certain things based on experience, then it, it shouldn't be grieving. It shouldn't be, a oh, you're hating or you're trying to suppress me. It should be you're looking out for me. That should be your mentality. Because that's really the truth. You know, we say when we say certain things, it's really to look out for the sheep that they don't get taken. You know, it's not about hating. Oh, they, oh, yo, yo, you don't, you know. You don't uh GMS is too strict and this and that and the third, and well, I want to and I feel like and all these other things. Well, you can do that, but remember the prophet that that the Most High told him to do something through the Spirit. All right, and he didn't do it, and the Most High killed his ass, man. So you need to take heed to the Spirit instead of instead of taking heed to your flesh. And if you're taking if you feel like you're taking heed to the flesh instead of the Spirit, you need to adjust. Because jumping from camp to camp, listen to this camp and listen to that camp is not the spirit, man. If you want to listen to them, if you think they got the truth, then go to them. Don't come to listen to us and then listen to them, because it's it's a it's confusion. And if you're listening to us, stick with us. Because you're new in the faith, you're not built up yet, and you're not rooted. So that's that's spiritually dangerous. And the most I could take you into one of these fuck like we've seen many times before, man can take you into one of these philosophies and you become a, a, a bug out. So let me get a, let me get this first. This is Matthews 13. I'll start at verse 3. Start at verse three. It says, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And a lot, and this is a lot of you guys, you guys don't have deepness of earth, 
but yet you want to jump from this camp to that camp to this camp to that camp. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and, and thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. You see, the, thing, the, the one before that, when, when you, weren't, you weren't rooted, okay? You weren't rooted. You see, that's why you were, that's why you were scorched when that, that fire came, man. And there's no way to get rooted when you're listening to two to three different doctrines. You're not, you're not planting your feet into anything. You're not being secure into anything. You're split down the middle. So you're not rooted. You're partial. But other fell but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit some an hundredfold some sixtyfold some thirtyfold who hath ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables he answered and said unto them because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given all right so that's the bot that's the bottom line you see, so, and that's why we're telling you what we're telling you because you're not, you think you're rooted. You think, oh, I ain't going to fall for that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you think that. Well, they always think that. All right? And then, and then before you know it, a dude who's been in this thing seemingly for whatever, six years, five, seemingly, because he was never rooted to begin with, he starts going and teaching the, the flat earth doctrine. A whole bunch of people fell out because of some stupid flat earth doctrine shit, things that don't even matter. All right. Or, or, or he, or he starts to think that eating meat is wicked. So you better, you better take heed and you better start to be rooted because if you don't get rooted, if you don't stick and find who has the truth, and stick with that and, and get all into it then you're never going to be rooted and when that fire comes you will be scorched when the tribulation comes you will be confused you will not have the faith that you need and you will be scorched all right you know and those of you that look at this like entertainment the Most High is going to destroy you. So you better get your mind right. You better get your mind right. This is a lot. This is a lot more than entertainment. And even Yahweh Shai spotted a bunch of people who were following him for, for, you know, not for the right reasons. Just like these other groups, man. He sees people in these other groups. They're really... You know, you got these upstarts, you know, they all have their own different colors and some of them is black, some of them is green, some of them, is, you know, I'm this camp, I'm the B-O-W, I'm the H-O-C, I'm the whatever, whatever names they give themselves. And these camps follow it because they like the, uh, they like the vibes, they like the, you know, they like the, the, the parties, the, they like the fact that the women are out there, they like they can do what they want. They can make rap videos and really they just never leave the world and they and they you know and they have this Israelite gimmick that they put on over their, their worldly uh, garments, so to speak. This is um John 6 and, and 26, and it reads, Yeah, yeah, how was I answered him? And said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the uh, ye saw the miracles. 
but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath the Most High the Father's seal. See, so they were following him for the loaves of bread, and he was telling them he's giving them a bread that, that shall never perish. Okay? And we're giving you truth and waters that, will, that you'll never thirst again, but you rather get that carnal glory. You rather, uh, you know, be seen of men and these things that perish and these things that don't matter. Uh, you know, you rather get that than get than get the true riches of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Matthew's 15 in verse verse 12 it says then came his disciples and said unto him knowest thou that the Pharisee were offended after they heard this saying but he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if they, they, the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. And if you're following these other camps that are not teaching the correct doctrine, you're going to fall into a ditch. So don't come and ask us, oh, well, this camp said this. Okay, well, go and ask them for the breakdown then, man. Why are you, why are you coming to us? If that camp said that, then go and ask them for the breakdown. All right? Clearly, the Most High is dealing with them according to you. So go ask them for the breakdown. Why are you asking us? So you can go and ask them again and be more confused? Matthew 7 verse 24 says therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a stone a rock and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock that's that foundation. And you're never going to be rooted. You're never going to have a proper, stable, solid foundation if you're jumping from this camp and that camp and this camp and that camp and this camp and that camp who all have different doctrines. A unity camp can never give you stability, will never give you a solid foundation because they all teach different things. All right? You'll never be rooted. You'll never have a solid foundation because you're partial. Everything is, you know, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of that. It's with mixture. Okay? Confusion, in other words. And everyone that heareth these things of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell and great was the fall of it all right so that's it man that's the point on that
This is Second uh, Second uh, Corinthians six and verse fourteen. It says, "Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had light with darkness?" And you're mixing light with darkness. You're mixing false doctrines with correct doctrine. All right. And that's why you're lost. That's why you're confused. And don't think that because they're Israelites that they're not unbelievers. The, the, the Most High is through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They're being revealed to not truly believe. They, they're being revealed to not be of Yahweh Shai's. Okay? That they don't really believe in Yahweh Shai like that. That's what's being revealed. They don't believe in the miracles. They don't believe you're supposed to worship Yahweh Shai. And that's not just those two camps that, we're, that I'm thinking about. The, all these camps that ain't right, that's not teaching the right doctrines, they don't really believe like that, man. That's why they're in a carnality. That's why they're into gathering guns. So really, they're, they're, they're classified as unbelievers as well. All right? And what, and what concord... Hath a Mashiach with Bel Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the, te hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will build, I will be their power and they shall be my people. And that's why you're not supposed to be part of this world. Okay, you can't have one foot in the world and one foot in the truth and, and mixing the truth with the world, all this nonsense. Because that's that's like having a, a an agreement with Balial and having an agreement with, with the most high Yahweh by Shimei Shai. There's no agreement. You see? Wherefore come out from among them and be separate. Save, save the Lord and touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you and will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughters saith the Lord Almighty see so that's what we're telling you to do we're telling you to, to come from among them and be ye separate man come to the true doctrine and don't worry about what the hell they're talking about man but a lot of you are going to disobey you're going to keep doing that and you see that you see that the, the things getting getting tight. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna be confused and you're gonna make a stupid decision, and then the most high is gonna have it where you get destroyed if you don't repent. Alright. This is Galatians 5 and verse 9. And it reads: A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. That's it. All right? A little bit of leaven, leaven if the whole lump. Okay? So even if you have a little leaven, you're through. Okay? I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded, but that troubleth, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. Okay? So that was the point. A little leaven Leaven is the whole lump. And that's why in Titus, it speaks about um, the circumcision whose mouth must be stopped because they're taking the sheep and they're leading them astray. And some of you people are being simple-minded and being rebellious, which is which is the sin of witchcraft, by the way. All right? You're being rebellious and, and it's going to be to your own detriment because we're not telling it to you to be mean or anything like that. We're telling it to you for your own good. All right. So, anyways, with that, I give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rahakwit Dash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, much love to the elect.